President Cup was excellent, first of all due to the level of performance, of course all the attention was chained to the host team, Scotland. So the first ever British Sambo World Champion, Scott Morris Allen, said without any sermonas that his national team will be in the final. Their coach Vadim Kalganov from Russia was an experienced Sambo player, World Cup medalist. I'm a former Dynamo athlete, I was training in Central Dynamo Club, so there's Dynamo now in Glasgow. Vadim became a referee for the time of the tournament, so wasn't able to help his team. In his absent team was led by Danny Roberts, who was a part of Great Britain team on first two President's Cup. It's been a very tough tournament, very hard. I fought this tournament the last three years, the last two years for Great Britain and then this year for Scotland. And two years ago we got silver, last year we got bronze. And unfortunately this time we've not got a medal, which just goes to show the levels getting higher, the competition's getting stronger. Also, a close attention was paid to Netherlands rookie team. Before the tournament, their captain was joking that they were going to win the cup, but soon everybody got that there was a piece of joke in the joke. Dutch athletes were victorious in their group and got into the final. Very good experience. Uh, now, uh, later in the final to the Russian team. So, uh, we, make a, we make a good game and uh, we do our best. And, uh, we cannot uh, more do, uh, do something about that, but uh, we will try to win. Same result in their group showed the Russian national team. They overcame Italy and France, who were successful in their bronze medal fights. Sport is unpredictable and President's Cup proved this rule once again. Nobody would believe before the tournament in final Russia-Netherlands, but here it is. The fairy tale ended in the final. Team Russia, which brought to the tournament the strongest squad, naturally won, losing the only fight in the tournament to a Dutch athlete, Remus Meer. And I was I had the will to win, so that's the most important thing. And he already thought that he win. And when he came on the mat, he thought that oh, it's an easy one. We beat everybody with seven against zero, so now we're gonna do it again. In combat Sambo, most spectators supported representative of Aruba Island Andrew Crows, who made his acquaintance with Sambo only this year. He won his first fight with a knockout, but in the final his inexperience came out. He lost seven to nothing. I enjoyed it, can I put it that way? Uh, we won the first fight, the second one, tough opponent. And uh, of course, uh, somebody with some experience knowing the, point, the scoring on the ground took great advantage of it. Uh, but I'm satisfied. I mean, I had a tough time with this, with this one, but uh, a great experience. President's Cup 2016 came to an end. First of all, it was a holiday, a feast for spectators. They could see spectacular wrestling on mats for athletes who could meet their associates once again. Sure, everybody's waiting for the next year when the honorable trophy will arrive on shores of Mr. Albion and Spirit of Samba will fill one of the cities of the United Kingdom.